Hi everyone, my name is Jim Evans, more affectionately known as Papa Jim, and I am from Austin, Texas, and I want to share a testimony with you um, about when we took a, a group uh, over to Huntsville Prison, Maximum Security Prison, uh, here in East Texas, and we went over, I think there were six or seven of us, and uh, we had uh, people from our worship team, and they led worship, and it was absolutely awesome. The Holy Spirit came in um, in a profound way. As a matter of fact, I found myself on my knees worshiping. And when that happens and you don't even realize what you're doing, you know Holy Spirit is present. Well, anyway, uh, we gave words of knowledge. Uh, I preached a little sermon. And then we asked who needed uh, which one of the guys. There probably were a couple of hundred inmates there. Uh, it, it was supposed to be more, but they had an incident, so they couldn't bring uh, the rest of the guys in. But anyway, so we asked, and we gave out words of knowledge. And we had over 30 miracles, 30 people get healed of things from locked up shoulders and bad knees and so forth. But the, the most wonderful, profound miracles were two men who were blind, one blind in one eye, and the other one was blind in both eyes, though he could see, he said he could see shadow and figures. Anyway, um, we didn't pray for him. But we had them pray for each other. We had inmates because I wanted them to understand the authority that they walk in. That it's not just the man of God or the woman of God, but they have the same Holy Spirit that we have. So I asked inmates around them, men around them, to come around, put their hands on them, and I did tell them a short prayer to pray, and they did, and praise God, both of them got their sight back. It was glorious. The one with the, uh, I think he was uh, blind in, in his right eye, got his sight back, and the one who was blind in both eyes got their sight back. Now, we tested them, and we asked them to show us, tell us about things that were across the room. We, uh, we, we held up fingers and said, how many fingers? We tested them, and these men were healed. Then, weeks later, I'm getting reports from the prison, and the gentleman who was blind in both eyes <laughs> was so enthralled with Jesus, just so in love with Jesus after that, that he went around preaching to other inmates and was having people come to Christ because of his stuff. Now, they knew, this guy had, I think, been in for 18 years or something like that. They knew him as a blind man, and so they, there was no doubt in their minds that he'd gotten healed. Well, that kind of testimony of Jesus Christ, men were coming to God, coming to Jesus, left and right. I tell you folks, you never know. You never know. You just follow the, the, the uh, leading of the Holy Spirit and do what he says in obedience. And, and understand that Holy Spirit is in all of you. Acts 1 told us that Jesus said that he has to leave, but when the Holy Spirit comes, he will imbibe, imbibe you with power, power to change the world. Just believe and have faith in Jesus' name.